let's take a look at the suspense list and how we are able to filter through our suspenses. So if we go over to the left to suspenses and suspense list, this is going to show us a list of all of the suspenses ever created in our agency. Over on the right, you have several different filters for your suspenses. At the top, you're going to see users. Right now, mine is defaulted to show me all suspenses ever created for all of my team members. If I want to see suspenses created just for myself or another team member on my team, all I have to do is choose their name there from the dropdown. You can also choose to see suspenses that are marked only as critical or only as normal or all suspenses regardless of whether or not they are marked as critical or not. You can also choose to see suspenses that are scheduled out for the future or suspenses that are current or in the past. And you can also choose to see suspenses that are in just completed status, or maybe you want to take a look at suspenses that are still in open status and have yet to be completed. Down at the bottom, you have date filters for your suspenses as well. So for example, maybe I wanna see all suspenses that were created between January 3rd and January 7th. All I have to do is put in my date ranges there, hit refresh list. It's gonna show me all of the to-do items created during that time frame. I can clear those dates. It's gonna take me right back to showing me all suspenses that I've ever created. So that's how we're going to filter out our suspense list. Now, let's go back to the dashboard. I also wanted to show you here on your suspense card on your main dashboard. If you click this gear wheel, it also is going to have the same set of filters. So again, you can choose to see on your main dashboard card all of the team members, and their suspenses or just your suspenses. And then again, we just went over these so you can choose to see these filters as well right here on your main dashboard. So I'm gonna cancel there. And then the next thing is if we go into a client profile here, you are also going to see a suspense card here on your main client profile, as well as a suspense card if you were to go deeper into the policy level. You are also going to have the same filter options here. So on the suspense card, you're seeing this little gear wheel. All we have to do is click that gear wheel. And again, you can filter through your suspenses, choosing whatever it is that you would like to see in that suspense card. That's it. If you have any questions, let us know.